Hello everyone, I'm Kalen North, and today we're going to be starting a new series, or sort of continuing a new, an old series in some sense, of trying to play every spirit in the digital version against every adversary at level 6. Uh, every adversary in the digital version, of course. This is going to be a continuation of some videos we've already had on the channel. Um, I've already played some Lightning, Thunderspeaker, Green, and Serpent all at level 6. Uh, as well as some multiplayer games, but we're going to do all of these solo. Some of these games might involve uh, scenarios. Some of them are going to potentially use no events or no content at all from Branch and Claw. Uh, and we're going to try and just change it up and keep it interesting and get through all 48 games. Uh, without anything else, then, let's hop into the first one. I'm going to be doing River Surges in Sunlight against Brandenburg Prussia 6. And we are playing without Branch and Claw. I've actually just disabled it from the app right now. So promo pack one and Branch and Claw look like I don't own them, but they're just disabled. Um, but yeah, Branch Brandenburg Prussia 6 is a very fast adversary. We're going to be playing a fairly standard river strategy against it uh, in order to try and wipe them out. Um, but without anything else, let's do that. We'll grow twice from the bottom track on turn one. I like to grow into land f 7 and then 5, usually. Um, there is an argument, I think, to be made for growing into land 6 instead and using River's Bounty to try and set up a counterattack there, but I'm actually going to just use my innate power, most likely, to wash or wash away in order to solve the town instead, just because I'd rather pull those to Han into land 7 for a potential counterattack there later on. Uh, usual River opening, River's Bounty and wash away finish playing cards, and we let the invaders build a bunch of things. Uh, let's see, they escalate in the jungles, so we're going to throw that extra town in land 5, where we have some presence. Um, I'd prefer not to toss things in land 8, just because it is innermost, and we do hopefully want to get that land cut off from explorers at some point. Um, for now, though, uh, we are going to have to leave one of these jungles unsolved. So I'm thinking that I'm going to massive flooding to move the town from land six uh, into land five. And then I'm going to use wash away in order to solve land. Um, in this case, uh, the advantage of solving land four is that uh, there's a Dahan in land one. We could potentially do something to set up a counterattack. But the disadvantage is, of course, there's a Dahan in land one. And so it's potentially more useful to simply push that town and explorer out of land one and allow for another counterattack. We could use flash floods to take out the town in the fast phase. But with only one Dahan in land one, that's not going to be quite good enough. So I'm going to go ahead and wash away from land one into land two and let that counterattack solve land one. And then we'll probably play Flash Floods on the town in land three just to try and get rid of that one uh, and let land four blight. And we'll see what we can do to solve that in a future turn. I am going to drag some Dahan into land 7. Uh, that's mostly because if they do get a chance to build there, uh, it's going to be really obnoxious, and I'd rather have my Dahan set up in advance. So this turn, I'm going to grow... We are going to lose any presence in lands 2 or 4 because we're letting them blight. So I'm going to go ahead and put a presence in land 4 and then actually put a second presence in land 4 so that I can pull into Han with River's Bounty after the Ravage. Uh, Boon of Vigor, Flash Floods, and River's Bounty. We get our innate at level 2. Uh, Flash Floods, I'm going to take out the town in land 3 as discussed. Uh, Boon of Vigor on ourselves, obviously, for an energy. Sands, we take 2 Blight, which isn't too bad. That city, however, is is pretty bad. Uh, and now we get another town, which I'm going to put back in land three, unfortunately, because we're going to have a jungle ravage almost immediately. Uh, and we're going to let them explore the sands. 
So River's Bounty, we're going to pull in some Dahan. Uh, I'm going to pull in the two that I pulled into land seven, uh, leaving one behind to try and help take care of a future problem. And then I'm actually going to um, solve land four by letting it blight again. Uh, that is going to cause us to flip the Blighted Island card, but we're not playing with Branch and Claw, so right now the worst thing that can happen is we get something like Downward Spiral. But we can use our innate Massive Flooding to take out the town and then push the two explorers away, and I'm going to push them into land two. Land two is going to be sort of our biggest problem area. Uh, we'll be trying to solve that with a Massive, mu with a massive, massive Flooding in about a uh, turn or two. Two turns, I should say. All right, we reclaim, we gain a minor power. Um, if it's a defend power, we can just solve land four potentially, and there's a defend power. There's a couple of them actually. Uh, the fear from Dark Entangled Woods is really nice. Sap the Strength of Multitudes having defend five is really nice. And Drought is something that we might even be able to threshold and use to take out uh, a big problem land like C2. I don't think we need Drought uh, because we're going to try and do it with Massive Flooding, and so I'm much more inclined to take Dark Entangled Woods here. Um, the other advantage of Dark Entangled Woods is the two fear is going to really help us with getting to Terra level two, which is going to be somewhat essential in order to take out Brandenburg Prussia. We're probably not going to get rid of all their explorers. So Dark Entangled Woods, and then I like to throw in Wash Away as a second card here. We're going to try and do Massive Flooding next turn, but Wash Away does a pretty good job of being uh, very utility focused. If they explore in the mountains, we can solve a mountain. If they explore in the wetlands, we can shove that stuff into C2. Uh, we can potentially just solve C6 with it. But in the end, uh, it's sort of a toss up between that and trying to do something else like a river's bounty or something to get more energy. So we're only going to play two cards, though, because we do want to max out our innate next turn. We're going to defend land four, save ourselves from flipping the blight card, and we get a fear card that is redundant with what we were already doing. So that's great. Um, and they explore in the wetlands, which is good. We can take care of that. Uh, now we do have wash away, and I'm going to wash away because uh, we really don't want to get a city in C5. I'm going to go ahead and push those three into C2. C2 is looking like a huge mess, but fortunately for Brandenburg Prussia, we don't care about huge messes. Uh, there's no loss condition like with England or problems with allowing a however much damage ravage this is, uh, 14, 20, 20 damage ravage, like with Sweden. So um, I suppose it would be more than 20 damage if it actually was Sweden. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and place two more presents. Uh, we're going to go from the plays track twice. Sometimes I like to go hybrid and do a top track presence here. But I think I'm going to want to be able to play five cards pretty soon. And so that's, to me, a little more important uh, to have that five cards next turn than it is to simply uh, get an extra energy. Uh, if we wanted to potentially shift over to majors at this point, the extra energy could be big but that's, I think, not going to be the case. I'm going to go ahead and set up a Sacred Site in land 3. Um, we have pretty good coverage with Sacred Sites just because it's Seaboard, but I do want another one, and land 3 is somewhere that I want to deal with in the near future. So let's grab Wash Away. We play all our cards. And we finish. Boon of Vigor. We are going to flip the Blight card this turn. Um, I'm going to go ahead and deal two damage to the cities with Flash Floods. This is a common trick with River, is ping the cities and then hit everything with massive flooding. Because of the Ravage of the Sands, uh, we are going to flip the Blight card here. Memory fades to dust. Okay, that's fine. And we do lose a Dahan in land six, which is unfortunate. Um, and Jungles plus Wetlands, that's pretty good because we don't have them growing on to hazards too much. Uh, that is, cities or towns that are already there. 
So the main question at this point is where are we going to wash away before the massive flooding? Because we really want to take advantage of wash away to destroy some extra buildings. I'm thinking C1 is going to be the best bet, just because there's two invaders there and one of them is a town versus... I mean, C3 is a town, but we have a sacred site and Hudahan there now. C5 is a single explorer. C4 is a single explorer. None of those are going to be quite as big as the impact we get from doing this. And that gets us a couple of fear cards, which is really nice. And I'm going to drag some Tahan into... Uh, let's see here. I really would like to put two Tahan into into C8, but because of where we are, I pro I can't I can only drag one, and so River's Bounty won't spawn an extra Tahan. I'm thinking it's probably going to be most beneficial to put two Tahan into C5. Um, hopefully, uh, we well not hopefully we will get a counterattack in C5 uh, and take out that Explorer solving the land. Depending on what we draft as a power this turn, we may be able to solve C8. Or we might, if we're lucky, uh, we'll have two or possibly three fear cards to work with uh, and just take a fear trust fall. We do have two blight left to work with, so if we do take one blight in C8, it's not the end of the world. Um, it is a little suboptimal, uh, just to be right on the edge there, but we aren't playing with events, and so that's less of a concern. So I'm going to reclaim, I'm going to gain a power card, um, I am going to gain a minor again rather than a major because we went for the five card plays rather than the two energy. If we had gone for the two energy last turn, I do think that a major is a reasonable pull here, um, but as it is, we're going to see what we can do with the minor. Uh, Quicken the Earth struggles. Wonderful. That'll let us defend C8. Um, Reaching Grasp has good elements for us, and... That's about it, because we have really good coverage of the board with Sacred Sites right now. Um, Shadows of the Burning Forest could be useful. It does get us more fear, which is always nice. And it could help us solve C4, or at least turn C4 into a problem for next turn to solve. Uh, Delusions of Danger doesn't really do a lot here. Um, it could solve C4 preemptively, but it costs an energy. It doesn't have great elements for us. And the two fear option is pretty much strictly worse than the Shadows of the Burning Forest one because Shadows of the Burning Forest does it for free. Um, the question really for me is, do I want to stop the Blight in C8? And with two Blight left on the card, I don't think I care to stop the Blight in C8. Um, the... The biggest issue there is going to be that they're going to build a city next turn and so actually wiping out C8 is going to be a little problematic. But I think that... Um, let's see. Let's think about what we have in our hand already as is. Uh, we can look at Dark Entangled Woods, and that can solve C4 even if C4 builds. So I think... You know, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take back what I said earlier. I am going to take Quicken the Earth Struggles to prevent the Blight so that I can let it Blight next turn when the jungles and wetlands ravage together. And for this turn, I'm going to play everything but Dark Entangled Woods uh, because Dark Entangled Woods isn't really going to do anything with a wetland ravage. The two fear could be nice, but for an energy right now, it's a little tight and getting our full level innate is more important. All right, so Quicken the Earth struggles here. Uh, we're going to defend 10 in C8. Um, Boon of Vigor on ourselves as usual. Flash Floods. Um, I think with Flash Floods, I do want to actually take out that Explorer in... No, no, C4 I'm going to solve with Dark Entangled Woods next turn. This is fine. Flash Floods I'm going to use in C3 to take out that town. Get another Fear. Get that third Fear card. Get them all at Terror level 2 and hopefully do better as a result. Uh, memory fades to dust. We're going to destroy a presence. Um, because we're planning on taking a blight in C8 next turn, I am thinking about destroying that presence. Um, plus, I'd rather be able... I mean, losing the sacred site there kind of hurts, but we could potentially still rebuild it. Um, I am thinking more that... Uh, yeah, actually... We're going to lose the Sacred Site in C3 
because it's redundant right now. We're going to be able to target massive flooding as we need, and C3 is not a problem anymore. All right, uh, each player chooses a different land, and chosen lands gather up to two to Han, and then one damage if to Han are present. Um, I'd really like this to actually do something, um, but I also really want to get to Han near C8 so that I can set up a counterattack next turn. So I'm going to pull these two to Han into land six. We still have one in C5 for the Explorer, and then we'll kill the Explorer in C6. Um, each player can gather an explorer into a land with buildings or gather a town into a land with city. So we can pull an explorer. In this case, I am going to now solve C4 and just save Dark and Tangled Woods for some indeterminate time in the future. And we can push up to three from us in the land. Well, uh, if the game's going to be that nice to us, then we're going to go ahead and push everything from C8 into C7 and uh, jungle wetlands won't build as a result and we'll be good to go. <clears throat> now we can just win this turn as a result of that fear card. So we're gonna push the town from C6 into C7, massive flooding, take out all the remaining towns, and we were already at terror level two, giving us the victory. So that's Brandenburg Prussia six. Um, they're fast, they can get a lot of Blight out pretty quickly. Um, you don't want to flip the Blight card right away if you can help it, but River definitely is well suited to taking them out. Um, more skilled player than me probably could have done it with less Blight, but uh, I'm quite content with this. Thanks for watching, and if you have any comments or questions, let me know in the comments below, and look forward to the rest of the videos. We're gonna try and get as many of them done as we can.